me, y'all. I got a fish on. Oh, my income is sure not outcome. When Friday rolls around, I'm broken in some. What I'm making, somebody's taking. Now here I go, a little further in the hole. Just wanted to show you uh, my setup on my uh, spinning rod. I've got a seven foot uh, ugly stick with um, open face uh, spinner here. And also I've got a two alt circle hook snail here and uh, about a 24 inch leader. And also you can see the uh, swivel I've got to uh, connect the fluorocarbon leader to uh, 20 pound braid and also I've got uh, three uh, glass beads. It's my understanding these beads, uh, uh, they kind of knock against each other as the fish are swimming through the water the bait, uh, especially the uh, blueback herring, it creates a little knocking or uh, popping sound, uh, which is my understanding uh, attracts the uh, uh, strappers. So uh, we are going to um, go ahead and hook up one of these guys and to uh, get my hook set up and staged ready to go. I uh, just kind of Hook it onto my rod holder here while I get a, a bait out. These bait are lively. They're hard to handle or get a hold of. I want to make sure my net's wet. I had some trying to jump out of the box this morning. So uh, let's see if you can see this. this is the uh, bait up. So, let's get some bait in the water here. A nice uh, blueback herring, uh, five, five inch blueback herring. And actually, I put this circle hook through its nostril. Uh, that's just more of a natural place to hook him. It keeps him alive longer. And we just drop him right in. So we got him in the water. The next step is I'm going to be pulling a planer board uh, with this guy. And uh, these are water bugs planer boards. Uh, they come in a set, left hand and right hand. And let me see if I can find my right hand planer board. And that's one I need uh, for this ride on on this side. Now, it's kind of a trick to hook them up, but it's simple once you uh, get the hang of it. So, first step we do is, it's got a little wind uh, hook on it. We, we hook our line through and just pull it. And that's, that goes toward the bait. That end goes toward the bait uh, this clip goes toward the pole end, and uh, that's the setup you use. Now I'm going to pull off about uh, 15 feet of line here. To uh, I've already got about four feet, so let's go. Okay, that's six. Eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Let's go with twenty. Okay, and we hook him. Snap that uh, braid, and again the uh, little clamp, like a clothesline clamp, goes toward the rod tip the uh, little uh, swivel attachment goes toward the bait 
and uh, we deploy it, deploy it out. And as we move forward, we won't be sure we get him away from the kayak. We'll let this get out about uh, 30, 40 feet from the uh, kayak. And we'll move along about one mile per hour. What that does, drives this planer board out to the side. And uh, by the time I get everything baited up, we'll have uh, probably a hundred uh, foot spread of, of yeah, live bait. I'm gonna put another one of these big trout on. This is a good uh, 10 inch trout. Again, we're hooking him uh, through his nostrils. That way he can uh, go about his business and attract us another big stripper. Uh, so, wow. Get him in the water. Yes, sir. And uh, again, we're going to put about uh, 20 foot on him uh, on this planer board and uh, go from there. So, just got to be sure he's away from my, uh, my uh, prop on this PDL. So, Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. So we're putting twenty feet uh, on this rascal. And uh, again, the clamp goes toward the rod tip, the uh, clothespin type clamp. So and we'll let out uh, <clears throat> about 60 feet, uh, get, get him off of the uh, side of the kayak. It, these planter boards kind of run the, to the side uh, and give us a real good spread uh, behind us. So on my uh, free lines, uh, again, a two alt hook and I've got uh, five inch blueback herring. We're gonna hook him, hook him through the nostrils again and uh, trail him behind the kayak, uh, probably about 75 feet. I've got a line counter here and we'll kind of move forward and uh, see how this works. i actually got a clicker on this one which is really a great one to have. And man, I just saw a fish uh, hit close to the boat on the top of the water. You know, we are to see some action here pretty quick. So certainly hope so. And uh, hold on for the action. This might be an exciting day uh, for sure. It's a beautiful day with the fall colors here. Uh, perfect air temperature just a great day to be out in god's creation y'all putting on another uh about a 10 inch rainbow trout and uh putting him on a bait caster reel uh, i've got 30 pound uh mono for the line and 30 pound fluoro for the leader uh, actually 30 pound fluoro for the leader on all my lines here uh, maybe he's about a nine inch trout but uh, again hook him through the nostrils always hold them in the net uh, when you handle them that way you can hold on to them now this guy is going to town we're going to free line him again i've got those beads on those red beads um, and that's just a natural uh, tractor for them. And you can get a good deal on these uh, beads at Hobby Lobby or at Michael's. Be sure you get the glass beads. The glass beads are what make the noise. So we're going. Hey y'all, I got a fish on. 
drag's kind of solid here, but uh, it sounded like the wind blowing. <laughs> wow! Oh man! It's been a long time since I had a fish on like this. Man! Let's see pulling. Wow! Hot dog! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm gonna turn it around so you guys can see uh, what's going on here. Got him on the planer board and uh, I believe we got him on the trout. I had trout on, man. And I mean, he took off. It was just like, wow! Wow! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! It's a good fish. Good fish. Uh, we going for a sleigh ride here. Uh, he's still got a lot, a lot of fight left in him. Oh man! Look at him. He's under me right now. Going deep. Ah! Uh, Woo hoo! Man! What a fish! Whoop, whoop, whoop! Ha ha! Ha ha! Man, he took off! It's like, wow! Wow! Kayak sleigh ride! Y'all, this is fun! Woo! This is fun! I marked a couple of fish on my uh, quarter there. Yeah, he's a good looking stripper. Good stripper. Uh, let's see if we can get him to the side of the boot here. And, uh, oh yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Easy, easy 10 pounder. Maybe. Okay, uh, good uh, 28 inches. So uh, let's show him to you. Uh, beautiful late Russell stripper. Yes, sir. This is the way to do it. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Okay, y'all, I got a couple of pictures of him. Uh, again, 28-inch dropper, a lot of fun. Uh, maybe uh, 9 to 10 pounds, but uh, so, man, it felt good. Awesome. Let's, uh, I've been towing this guy now for a couple of minutes, three or four minutes, and uh, he looks like he's swimming uh, really healthy. So we're going to let him go, and maybe next time he'll be... Uh, 20 pounder or 30 pounder so thank thank you buddy for the ride awesome there he goes Hey y'all, just want to show you this uh, trout. Uh, he's been in the water about five hours now. How lively he is. Uh, that's why trout are so uh, uh, good and effective uh, catching uh, strippers. So we're going to let him go. Hey y'all, uh, this is Pastor Murray. And just want to show you my setup on keeping my... Uh, Blueback herring and, and trout alive. Now, I've been fishing nine hours uh, today, and I still have blueback herring and um, the trout. You know, used them all up, but they were alive. Uh, just want to show you my setup. Uh, simple. Uh, 
you know, in the kayak, people ask me, uh, how do you how do you keep your bait alive? How do you keep those blueback herring alive? Well, you know, I, I add uh, some solution, a stay alive solution. I'll put the link. You can get it at uh, Academy Sports. This is a 30 quart uh, bait cooler from uh, Academy Sports. It's a Magellan. And if you notice, it has uh, a port on the side for an uh, oxygen line. You know, you can get it with a pump, but you know, with a pump, you gotta take a battery. And those pumps, air pumps, or bubblers as they call them, will not keep blueback carrying a lot. Uh, not in the small of a space. I have two dozen uh, blueback herring in there and uh, six rainbow trout. Uh, all of them stayed alive well. I uh, have a oxygen tank, aluminum oxygen tank, and also a, a regulator. And to keep them alive in this space, I run the regulator about uh, one quarter liter per hour um, costs about ten dollars to fill up that tank but it'll last uh, at least three fishing trips sometimes four i'm going to show you uh, what it looks like uh, and again that solution i believe is shadow eye but you can uh, see the bubbles it's making here let's see if i can catch one of these See those blue back herring? That's after nine hours, they're ready to catch a fish. So uh, that's my tip. Uh, works. I've fished in 100 degrees uh, this summer in July and August in the hot South Carolina summer. And uh, that is the way to go. Didn't show you the whole setup. You need a good uh, uh, micro or nano. Uh, bubble uh, air stone um, and uh, this is one of guy that got it off of Amazon it was about $26 uh, third of the price of uh, some of these uh, specialty shops this works great uh, it, it works fantastic so uh, just want to show that to you as well and you can see the uh, active fish there in the bubbles so oxygen that's the way you do it so uh, to catch big stripers uh, you know find out using these planter boards and the live bait and do the slow troll uh, from half a mile an hour to two miles an hour just depending uh, so just wanted to show show that to you and also uh, we'd like to show you uh, my uh, rod holder uh, retrofit uh, this is a Navarre uh, handle for this old town uh, topwater 120 PDL you can uh, order this from Navarre I'll provide a link and then uh, these are the Omega Pro uh, rod holders and believe me I've tested them uh, with 22 pound and 25 pound striper and those are awesome got a set on uh, it's great when you're doing the slow trolling to have a rod in front of you but uh, you know, I've got two rods in. behind me. Be sure you get a net big enough. Uh, after encountering the 25 pounder and 22 pounder and another 18 pounder trying to get them into the net, I, I invested in um, a good uh, net and I'll leave the link for that as well. But uh, that's my setup and I'm loving this. Uh, had this kayak since uh, April of 2021 and I've put as much as 18 miles on it in a single day uh, which is uh, pretty awesome for a 68 year old man 
So just want to show it to you and uh, hope you guys can pick up something from this. God bless. Thanks.